Ramblin' Man, Moto and Drone coming at you. It's a Monday here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So right off the bat, I'll mention the stupid thing I did yesterday. I came out for a quick ride, got about an hour's worth of footage, went to my desk, copied all that footage over, thought I'd share a little bit of it. And then for some reason, I just brainlessly deleted it all and emptied the trash and reformatted the card and it hit me. I just d deleted the wrong files. I deleted the folder I didn't mean to. So, it was still a good day of riding for an hour. You missed all that info. Uh, one of the things I mentioned was um, in a previous video, I taped up my chin curtain to reduce some of the wind noise and one of you commenters mentioned that that might be cause of buildup I can't remember if it was carbon dioxide, monoxide, I think it's dioxide duh and um, somebody in one of the forums I'm on which may be the same you guys are uh, on some of the same forums I am agreed with that view so I've got on yesterday and today Today is a lot warmer than yesterday. Um, a full, uh, I always, don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, balaclava. I think there's like a dessert, right? A dessert is like bakalava or something? I don't know. But um, it was suggested that these would, uh, you know, get your helmet on, allow some airflow, but block coming from the neck up. So, um, I'd say mission accomplished. I'm hoping you can hear me okay. When I listened to yesterday's sample before I quickly deleted them for no reason, I could hear pretty good. So I'm talking through this silk thing in front of my mouth. It's also over my nose. All right, so I got that going on. The other thing I mentioned just as an update was that last week I was out of commission starting on Monday morning in the wee hours of the morning with some uh, stomach bug issue commenced what turned out to be about 31 hours of vomiting in related bathroom fun it's like an exorcism going on I ate I got treated for um, dehydration on Tuesday for three hours or so at an urgent care and uh, I had eaten on Sunday and didn't eat again until Saturday morning just on liquids all last week so uh, I'm back Adam took the weekend to kind of even get back to some state of normalcy it was a tough week. I've removed the backrest on this ride on the ultimate seat. I definitely slump more or slouch. So my back goes further back. And um, when I'm wearing the backrest, I sit a little more erect or I have to scoop my butt forward to lean back. And then that results in the feet feeling like they're closer. But all in, I think I'm going to keep this ultimate seat. You know, I could send it back and uh, try one of their other seats, but I don't think it would make any sense for me to try one of their other seats that represent that they'll move you closer or backwards. They said this one was the stock, and when I put the stock seat next to it, it sure seems to me this is taller and closer in, despite what they say. I know the owner was nice enough to write me that, well, no matter what they say, every rider is different, and your seats are different and yeah get all that but I'm just going off his website that says this is the same as the stock seat I've sat on and ridden a few Springfields at the demo days and loved the lower center of gravity I like how I felt like I was sitting in the bike and now with this ultimate seat I don't really feel that way so I'm just going off what I feel and what I what their website said uh, I'm not saying they intentionally misled but I'm just saying it's not accurate for me and 
a, a, a number of other people. Now, a lot of people love these Ultimate seats. I can see why, because they're very comfortable. And now, if I ordered a Corbin, it's going to cost a lot more money. And I might have the same problem. Though I've installed Corbins on two bikes so far and had no problem. Another thing I've ordered is the Indian brand reduced reach side stand. I'm about 5'8". I have trouble reaching the side stand. So the reduced reach one is in my office. I do have it. And uh, when I held it up just to look, it looks like it, it's going to help. And another thing I've ordered but not received yet are the heated grips. Uh, Indian, this has a switch here where you use to control. And um, it's a 10 switch, 10 setting heated grip on my Super Chief Limited. It's high, medium, low. And um, I, my guy that's been helping me knock out some projects so I can focus on other things, I think I'm going to have him do both of those. He's really reasonable on rates. He uh, does thorough work. Uh, very meticulous and uh, you know if I did it whatever you think it should take probably double it for me with distractions and frustrations it's just worth it for me sometimes to pay somebody I trust to do it uh, I've done a lot on these bikes myself as I'm learning thank God for YouTube so that's what's going on with me and the bike I passed that guy out here yesterday. Got up to 65 degrees here today, but I got stuff I was doing.